can't believe that Ridley is in Smash Brothers Ultimate. They did the unthinkable. They, they took a beloved character from my favorite series, Metroid, and after seeing it as a trophy, then a boss, then a stage hazard, Sakurai did it, the absolute madman. J just when you think that dude is done with Smash, he rises from retirement and he does the damn thing. And if it wasn't enough that Ridley was in there, he put the whole damn roster together. It's actually kind of nuts when you think about it. The transition from Melee to Brawl meant some characters got cut, and we got used to the fact that they might not ever come back. Thanks to Homebrew, we were able to see characters that were left out of Smash for one reason or another. But now, we can move forward. This game has every fighter that's appeared in Smash ever, even if they were only in the game once. Now we don't have to rely on mods or Homebrew. Throw out those Wiis. Throw out those Wii U's. Maybe hold on to the Wiis because they still run GameCube games. I don't think Melee is going anywhere for a while yet. This is the Smash game to end all Smash games. With over 60 characters, there's no reason not to find someone that you're falling in love with. Do you like cute Pokemon? You can pick Pikachu or Jigglypuff. Do you want to assume the role of a bounty hunter from space? You got Samus. Do you hate yourself and want to be useless in whatever game mode you play? Pick Pichu. Do you want to be a sexy, gun-wielding, acrobatic witch? Bayonetta's the woman for you. You like heavy dudes? Ganon, DK, and Bowser at your command. Whatever you're feeling like that day, you can identify with at least one fighter. And if we could go back to Ridley for a second, this is the second character in the Metroid franchise to be featured as a fighter in Smash. There are many memorable characters in Metroid who could have been featured in Smash, but the more I think about it, the more that Ridley makes the most sense. Everyone else that goes against Samus somehow ends up dead, but Ridley finds a way to come back every time in every game. He just won't stay dead, and that's the determination we need in a game like Smash. Takes the hits and he keeps on trucking. The game has a more competitive side to it. Being able to cancel moves out of a dash, moves doing more damage in a 1v1 situation. There are even dramatic finishes on game-winning moves. You can turn the hazards off on stages, the list goes on and on. The landing lag on aerial moves is less as well. This means wonders for heavy characters. Maybe we can actually apply pressure this time and not get absolutely fucked by fast characters. Smash is exciting no matter how you slice it, and the wait until December is going to be a long one, but I'll be counting down every day until I can get it in my hands and throw it down with my friends locally or online with opponents hundreds or thousands of miles away. What are you most excited about in the new Smash Brothers? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss another video. Until next time, this is Chocolate Sauce himself, and I better see you in the next video.